Good morning and thank you for joining us for our midweek devotion from Unity Baptist Church in Champaign, Illinois, uh, located at 404 South Duncan Road in Champaign. Uh, would love to invite you to come and join us in our services every Sunday morning at uh, 1015. Uh, we also have a an online service at 1015, but we would love to meet you uh, in person and so we invite you to come. We're just south of Springfield on Duncan Road, uh, kind of catty-cornered from Prairie Gardens and directly behind the Carpenters Union Hall. So um, we invite you to come, join us. I think you'll enjoy it, enjoy our people, and uh, and find a place where you can worship the Lord and and be loved by the people who worship with you. We've been looking at uh, Psalm chapter 37. We've been in here for several weeks. We're about to come to the end of it here, and we'll go on to an, <clears throat> another passage of Scripture or another subject that we're going to be talking about on a Thursday morning when this is released uh, on the Internet. So uh, we want to start at verse number 26, and we're going to go down to verse number 31. And just talk about some things that, that David mentions here. He concluded in, in last week's verse, he said, I've been young and now I'm old, yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And uh, what a wonderful testimony for David to be able to give that the Lord takes care of his children. And he kind of uh, continues with that thought in verse number 26. Speaking of the Lord, he says, He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment or justice, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment or justice. The law of the Lord is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Three things, that, just three thoughts that, that I want to talk about today about the Lord's dealing with his children. And first of all, and he is talking about his children. He's talking about those who have placed their faith in Christ, uh, who are, are followers of the Lord. And he says three things here about us in our relationship with the Lord. First of all, because of that relationship, we have God's mercy and blessing. He says he is ever merciful. And what that means, he's merciful every day. Every day, he, he, David talks about this in Psalm 103. He said, every day he loads us down with benefits. I think we have so many benefits as believers in Christ, so many blessings as believers in Christ, that the danger for us is that we don't even think about them anymore. Uh, they, we are so loaded down with benefits and blessings from the Lord. He gives us so many things. He, he lends us so much that we don't even think of it in those terms. Uh, it's just the way things are. And it never occurs to us that it's not that way with everybody. That the Lord particularly blesses his children. Now, the Bible says that it rains on the just and the unjust. So the unjust have blessings too, but there are, uh, and those are blessings from God, but the particular blessings that God gives to his children are every morning, every day. Jeremiah talks about this, about the blessings of God and the mercies of God being new every morning. He just loads us down with these things that he does for us every single day. Probably, and I think this is one of, going to be one of the surprises in, <coughs> excuse me, in heaven, is that we have been blessed in 
in ways we we cannot see or do not understand. Things that that God intervenes on our behalf for before they ever take place so that we are kept safe, we are kept secure. And that's one of the things I want us to keep in mind today is that we are enjoying in our life right now God's mercies and God's blessings upon our life. And in in the next verse, David says, and it's kind of uh, the idea of therefore, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. We have an obligation too. You know, God, uh, God isn't treating us like puppets. We have obligations too. We are depart from, to depart from evil. And as we depart from evil and choose rather to do good, then, then God is going to, to bless us in our life. I, I remember reading in the book of Philippians chapter one, the apostle Paul is writing to church at Philippi. He's in prison in, in Rome and he, he writes to them and he talks to them about discerning between that which is good and that which is evil. And, and then he says, essentially, then choose the good. When, once you have chosen or, or discerned what is good and what is evil, or, or maybe what is good and what is best, then you have to make a choice. And that's kind of what David is saying here, depart from evil, uh, set the evil aside and do good. And, you, and, and dwell forevermore, why? Because the Lord loves justice and he does not forsake his saints. The Lord loves us. He always loves us, but he, he loves the choices that we make when we choose to do what's right. You know, it's astonishing to me how many people know to do good and do it, and don't do it. And the, and the Bible says that he that knows to do good, but doeth it not, is sinning. It's a sin to know to do good, to know to do right, to know to do justly, and then not do it. So David says the same thing here in Psalm 37. The Lord loves justice. You depart from evil, you do good. You're going to be blessed because the Lord loves justice and he never forsakes us. What an amazing thing that God, the eternal God, the God of the universe, the creator of all things, has promised to never forsake his saints. So wherever you are in your life today, understand this, <clears throat> that God is in the middle of it with you. And he says there in that verse, they are preserved forever. God's not going to abandon you. He's not going to leave you alone. Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I will be with you <clears throat> always, even to the end of the age. I, I'm going to be with you always. And then after this life is over, we're going to be with him in heaven forever. He does not forsake his saints, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Those wicked individuals who refuse to repent, who refuse to obey, they're going to be cut off, but not God's saints, not his saints. And so in conclusion here, I didn't get to everywhere that I wanted to go with this, but we'll pick it up next week. The what I want us to think about today is the grace and mercy and blessing of God upon our life in ways that we don't even realize that, that we should be a thankful people, a joyful people, whatever our circumstance is. 
because of the God that we serve, the blessings that he has bestowed upon us, and, and the promise that he will not forsake us. However bad things get, what, you know, if our economy goes down the drain, if, if we, if we lose jobs, if we end up with, with bad health, whatever it is that comes into our life, then we can know that God is with us. <clears throat> I heard someone say once that the Lord didn't come to get us out of trouble. He came to get in trouble with us. And I think that's good. When Paul was on that ship uh, on his way to Rome and the storms came and, and the Lord appeared to him and said, Paul, I, I've not forsaken you. When the three Hebrew children were in the fiery furnace, the Lord was in the midst of them. When Daniel was in the lion's den, he confessed to, to the king, you know, the Lord sent one of his angels here and he shut the mouths of the lions. God was with him in that. And God's with you in your difficulty, in your problems, in your distress. And that's the great hope that we have in Christ. And that's what David has learned in his life. In Psalm 37, he rehearses to us the fact that God is with us, whatever our circumstance might be. Father, I pray that you'll bless this brief devotion today. Help us to, to understand as we go out into this day, whatever burdens we're carrying, whatever uh, things are plaguing our mind or plaguing us in our life, help us to realize, to understand, and to believe that you will never leave us and you will never forsake us. Help us to be on, on the alert to the blessings and the mercies that you are showing us in our lives because you said in your word uh, that you load us down every day with benefits. Help us to recognize them and as a result of that, help us to be a thankful people as we enter this day we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you have a blessed day. And hopefully, we'll see you on Sunday.